Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome for your first time if it's your first time. So we're gonna do some crafting. I'm not sure what I'm gonna craft, but I'm gonna craft something. Before we get into that, I just wanted to say, you know, if you like these kind of videos, do me a favor, hit the like button so I know you like them and I'll, I'll do them more. And if it's your first time here, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button if this is the kind of content you're gonna wanna see because I'm, I just know this video is gonna get a bunch of likes and you're gonna wanna know when I upload another one. So just go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell if you want to. And uh, let's get into some crafting. All right. Um, Want to go to Sanctuary, right? Yep. And also, if you guys are interested, go ahead and check the description. I have a public Discord with a very lot of with a lot of people in it that you can come and join if you're a new player looking for some advice and or you're just looking for people to play with or talk to you about the game. It's a great place to do that. And um, if you're interested in catching me live, I'm gonna start streaming more. Go ahead and follow my Twitch channel. You can see that in the description as well. So, what do I even wanna craft? Generally, when I'm looking at what I wanna craft, um, I look and see what kind of conversion gems I have. And since I haven't really been doing anything on the game, I actually have a lot of them. So let's just pick what we want to do first. Um, I have a speed one here, so let's go ahead and craft some boots first. And then I'll, I'll roll them into a speed boot and we'll, we'll see what happens from there. Um, for the equipment conversion. But, it is kind of different now. I don't know why I went to the... I went to the Shanks... Dude, I'm such a noob now, man. Uh, let's craft some boots. I have plenty of mats still. Even though I haven't really been playing much. I'm still going to craft one by one so I can kind of go over each individual piece. Right off the bat, we have a flat main stat that uh, nobody wants to see. Very rare circumstances do you want a flat main stat on your boots. Very rare. Typically, you can just toss all of them. Bad stat combos. Boots are one of the most annoying pieces to roll, I think. And I'm also at the stage where I don't, I don't even, I don't even look at blue gear. I, I don't, I don't care what kind of stats it has. I just, I just extract it pretty much to get the ice cubes for the conversion. Like this is a nice stat line. These are, these are your ideal damage stats, right? But it's not a speed boot. If this was a speed boot, this would be really nice. But alas, never lucky. Um, interesting, like another good stat line, but it's flat main. It's not, not good stats for a boot. A ring, that would have been pretty nice. If it was like speed set. Still rolling with the flat main stat boots. If I can just get one usable piece this entire session, I'll be happy. I, I don't know how much I'm going to craft. Still no luck here. We're on a roll with the blue crafts though, right? Okay, we finally get a red craft. Um, it has a, like, this is a decent stat line, but um, not the right main stat. I mean, if this were speed boots and these were uh, like a speed set, it would be okay. I'd probably roll it a couple times. Generally, I'm very forgiving with the subs when it's a speed set, speed boost, especially if it's red. It has a good chance to like all roll in one stat still, and which then that's pretty nice. Because then you'll end up with a pair of boots like the ones that are on my crowd right now, which I can show you real quick. Uh, it's in re uh, I could probably just find it if I scroll down. It's a 90. Yeah, see, like these, you wouldn't expect these to roll well. Uh, I might have hit the flat once, I don't remember, but like, just the fact that it's speed set, speed boots, and it was red, like, th there was so much room for this to roll like garbage, but it, it rolled nicely. So, be on the lookout for boots like this. Yeah, we're still hitting that flat main stat, I mean... This could have been decent, yet again, if it was speed set. 
and like speed here it has like like all these stat line like this stat line is like perfect for a tanky unit like fcc um crowl you know if these are speed boots on a speed set these would have been really nice just having crit on a knight is nice to have this one's kind of a rip just having like crit on a unit is just nice it's, it's like the the fourth sub When you're going with all those tanky subs, like you have F-Res, health, and uh, defense percent, that, like, a la the last sub being crit is, is still pretty nice. Is a, crit is, like, one of the easiest ways to just boost your damage output. You get consistent crits. This is not looking too good, though. Still not looking good. Bunch, bunch of unusable stuff where I'm at. All these red boots are like, I don't know. They're like the black sheep of red boots. It's like they, they, they want to be good, but they're just not because they're all flat main stack pretty much. Hit set galore. Keep getting these nice sub combinations with a flat main stat. And then when I get a percent main stat, it's like a low base roll on the, on the subs with flats. Like... This is the wrong set. This is a nice stat line, kind of. Well, maybe... No, well, it's crit damage. If that was defense, that would have been nice. Like on a speed set. Because at this point, like, I'm really just looking for stuff that's... You know, you can look at it and you tell what that boot's for. Like, this one is decent. Um, it, like, I would much rather would have preferred, like, crit down here. Like, ideally, this rolls crit on plus 12. Like, 5% crit. And I hit the, the crit damage a good amount of times. But this is a good good boot. The, the subs are relatively high. It's got high uh, crit damage. HP isn't terrible, right? So, could be a good boot for, like, Charlotte. If it doesn't even get crit on it, just maxing crit damage. Do a couple more, and then we'll go craft a pair of boots and see what happens. A couple pairs in the uh, equipment conversion. Take a look at those. Because I'm not having too much luck on this end of things. Yeah, we'll do a couple more here. Let's go, uh, let's just go down the 15 mil. We'll do like three more crafts. And we try our luck over there, because it's not, not looking too good here. Flat main stat again. That would, like another boot that, if it was a speed boot, it would have been good. Okay, then we finally get it. With like, really bad subs. I'm still gonna roll this. Because they're speed set speed boots and they have effectiveness as a sub. Um, there's units that want to go fast that only need effectiveness, right? So ideally when I roll this boot, it all rolls effectiveness. If it doesn't roll effectiveness on the first roll, maybe the second roll, I'm probably going to trash it. I mean, if you're earlier in the game, like, and you need as many speed set speed boots as you can get, then you probably keep going, but where I'm at... It's not really worth to gamble after the first roll, I don't think. And there's the last one, so we're gonna go equipment conversion and see if we have any better luck over there, because no luck here. So we got our boots, so our speed. Um, I have plenty of. You can tell I've been crafting a lot of boots and getting disappointed. Look at all these cubes, man. All right, let's 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 try a speed boot. See if we get some nice sub combinations here. Well, back back to what I said about the effectiveness, right? Same instance as that other boot that I just crafted. Ideally, like when I hit this, getting some defense rolls probably isn't bad because it's still a percent. Um, 
flat health is kind of okay. Like, I, like the flats are, are really, like, kind of sour on this one. But ideally, I want to hit, like, high effectiveness rolls, and then I can just throw this on, like, a Basar. Right? That's what it would be used for. Um, do I have another option? Let's try an attack boot. And let's go speed set for that as well. See if we can get anything good from this. That was a flat gem, wasn't it? God, guys, I you can tell I'm a noob. But I, unironically, these boots aren't bad. <laughs> oh, my God. You, you can tell that I haven't been playing too much lately. But these are actually rollable. The sub combination is nice. It's got the attack percent with the flat main stat. So that's a rip. This is the attack I wanted to do. Um, let's do a nice throwback to the ML Ken boots and see if we can actually make that happen. I can't believe I just threw my flat one in there. And these ones are bad. These are not the subs that you want with an attack main stat boot, especially on crit set. That, that was just a, a big rip. Um, so, try an HP boot. See if we have any luck here. Okay, these are nice. And you're probably wondering why, is you know, it's two flats. The thing is, like, these are a, a defensive set of boots, right? They have literally every defensive stat in the game on this pair of boots. The percentage ones, the flat ones, and the ER. Granted, they rolled low, but that's okay. You're only going to get three stats out of this boots out of a five total stat pool, right? So, out of five total stats, they're only contributing to three. This is an excellent boot, like a magnificent boot, okay, for the new ML Crowl that's coming out. Ideally, I dodge the F resistance, right? It's, it's not terrible if I get it, you know, I, I would, ideally I would just want higher rolls. But, um, like, this is a, a boot that you want to put on a purely defensive unit, like ML Crowl, like regular Crowl. Um, if, if you're not looking for the speed main stat, um... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna roll these and and see what happens to end off the video here. See if we can get something to celebrate after you know this. <laughs> so let, let's let's check this out. Um, I got plenty of boot charms. I've been saving up for a while. Flat health isn't bad, right? Because if we're looking to put this on ML Crow. We want as much health as we can get. So rolling a flat health on a, a main stat percent health boot is, is completely fine in the situation that we plan to use these boots for. So where I want to go now is I want to continue hitting this health or I want to hit a high defense roll is ideal what, ideally what I want to do with this. Okay, so we hit the health again. That, that's completely fine. Um, if it completely rolls health, you know, it's actually not bad because when I 90 these, they're going to have a shit ton of health on them. Which, which is fine. But I'm totally fine with maybe a roll here. Idea, like, I would much rather have a roll here, though, because, you know, ML Crow has really high base defense. It's like 750 or something, right? So he's going to gain a lot more from here than he would here. Um, and the ER, is, it's, it's going to be a salty roll, but if it rolls, you know, 7 or 8, it's not bad. Okay, so there we rolled. That was a 5, right? So we rolled a 4. Um... That was pretty bad, but I would much rather roll a four here than a four here or a roll here. I'm still gonna gain more from this. So that could have went a lot worse. It didn't go that bad. So let's just keep rolling this. Um, the stat total is pretty low on this pair of boots, but 90ing these, it's gonna have a really nice HP value for that one specific use. Okay, and then we rolled out the eight e e ER. So, that wasn't a bad roll. It's a fine roll. Completely fine. It helped bring up the stat total a bit. And that's what we were kind of looking to do. So, to finish off this pair of boots, I would want like an 8 here. I'm um, getting another roll in health was, it would be fine, or an 8 here is like ideal. Um, I think the perfect roll I could get right now is an 8 in percent defense to kind of bring up the uh, you know, the average stat total of the boot. Um, I think the worst roll at this point is probably getting a flat defense roll. 
So let's just hope that doesn't happen. And these are... Okay, so we rolled, what was that, a, a seven? So that, is, that isn't bad, okay? So these boots are actually decent for, for the stats that they provide. Then before we end this off, let's see what they look like at 90. How much that flat health comes up to. So we'll go back over here, reforging. Um, I can actually do it now if I wanted to, but I'll probably will hold off on that. So yeah, that's a, that's a decent stat total on this pair of boots. This isn't bad. Good amount of ER. It's a lot of health. And, you know, these two, like, the fact that this rolled low, this kind of makes up for it a little bit. You know, you still get a little bit more defense here, you know, rather than, like, if this was flat attack or effectiveness and you don't even need the effectiveness at all. Like, this, this stat helps benefit this one even though it rolled low. So, not bad. Got a decent pair of boots out of this little crafting session here. Um, quick 15 minute video, just kind of do some crafting. I'm going to do these really frequently because I, I think this is the type of content that a lot of people want to see is, you know, content around gear and how to manage through gear. And the only way, like, like I can't just make a spreadsheet and be like, go for this. You know, it's much better, I think, to just kind of watch me in the process of doing it. And I'll kind of explain how I go through my gear. Um, you know, I might not be the same as, you know, some other players on how they go through their gear, but I don't know. That's why you guys watch me and not them, right? So with that being said, make sure you guys like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, a little spoiler here. I quit my job, okay? I got tired of working for the man. I'm gonna try and do the content creation full time. Don't worry, I'm still financially stable. I, I am a disabled veteran, so I get VA compensation. But um, if you guys want to help me do this, you know, full time, I do have the join button on my channel now. So if you guys wanted to consider doing that, it is available. Um, no pressure. Just watching the video, especially you guys that watch the video to the complete, you know, to the end. I appreciate what you guys are doing already for me. And if you guys hit the like button, that's awesome. If you're already a subscriber, that's awesome. That's completely fine. Your support, however you choose. And yeah, just wanted to throw that quick little plug at the end of the video. And um, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.